Okay, so I had a question related to QA. Uh, how can I identify easy versus tricky QA questions in the exam? Look, so, you know, such a thing you cannot do directly in exams. So it has to be tried out, which means uh, you are asking this question at a very right period, you know, time. We have approximately 20, 25 days. So what you can now do is, uh, you are obviously appearing for mock tests. After those mock tests have happened, go back and look at which are these questions which could have been simply solved. Okay, and I can give you a few cues. Look for it. You will find three things. Number one is familiarity. You know, they will look familiar. Why? Because those kind of questions you've done a lot. They may sound different. They may be different questions, but they will look like, you know, something that is being used almost every day in your practice questions. Number two, what you can think of is look at look at questions where some standard situations are there where you can use a formula, where you can maybe use, um, you know, options. Working backward from options, using a standard situation formula, or doing things mentally is the surefire method in which you'll probably save a lot of time. However, this will not happen directly in the exams, right? So what you'll have to do is, once you've taken the test, now take the test as an exercise and try these ideas. Try every question mentally and see which ones you were able to do. This will build an intuition for you Having a look at the question and you'll probably be able to identify those questions. Three, generally do not enter a completely unfamiliar ter territory in a new test. So there is, there is a possibility that question may be very simple, but it's a new one, don't get into it because chances are that you'll get stuck there, right? Fourth, look at questions where data is small, not size. If, if, if there is less data, it is probably going to be simpler. Fifth, look for topics. So if you look at some basic arithmetic questions, profit and loss, uh, percentages, proportionals, etc. They finally are going to be generally simple. Look at geometry. Are you looking at some standard figures, circles, triangles, and you have had a good practice? Probably you'll be able to do them well, right? So it's a mix of all this. Keep doing and your intuition will be built and you will be able to identify those questions.